Yo, what's up guys? So, I had so much fun last time doing the learn a trick video, so I'm gonna do it again. What's gonna happen is I'm going to spin the wheel of books, and whatever book that lands in, I grab the book from my shelf, then I ask Google to name a number from one to however many pages that book has, and that's the trick we will learn. I know you guys are pretty excited about this video, and I'm super excited about it as well, so let's give it a spin and see what we land on. So here we go. Hopefully I can get in focus this time. Last time I was a little bit out of focus so you can actually see what's happening. I think that's pretty good there. Let's see what we get. Try the Impossible by Simon Harrison, one of my favorites. This is awesome. So if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that this guy, this stud right here, Simon Aronson, is one of my biggest influences in card magic. In fact, this book, Try the Impossible, is one of my favorite books, so I'm really excited that Fate decided to uh, get this book out today. This book has 277 pages. In fact, this book is where uh, Prior Commitment, the famous trick, uh, the most impossible trick you can possibly do with cards, is in this book. I mean, there's so many gems in here. So uh, let's get my phone out and let's see what page it brings us to, all right? So, hey, Google, name a number between 1 and 277. All right, so we got 13, so let's see what uh, page number, let's see what trick is on page 13. What am I talking about? All righty, so let's see what page 13 will give us today. Let's see, number 13. Oh, cool. We got uh, Queen Spell. Uh, I think I've read this trick before once or twice, but I'll, I don't think I've ever like performed it, so this will be a lot of fun, and uh, let's, get, let's get into it. No, wait, I can do that better. Uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so this trick is crazy. It uh, It's it's kind of crazy that I mentioned in Prior Commitment because this sort of uses the same principle, and it's kind of like, it's sort of a variation on that trick. However, in this case, it's not a prediction. It's sort of um, a, a location of two cards, all right? So the same principle being used in this trick as in Prior Commitment is called the Undo Influence, and man, it's just, uh, it's just impossible to figure out how it works. I mean... A magician doing this fools himself, so there's no chance that a layman would have been figuring this stuff out. That's not that's not what matters though. The fact that this trick is wonderful is all that matters. All right, so I'll give you a quick demo of how this trick looks, and then we'll break it down for you. All right, so uh, for this we need uh, two people to help us out, and uh, in fact, it's hard enough to find one card, you know, but to ha trying to find two cards is twice as difficult and uh, nearly impossible. So what I have to do is enlist the help of two women because a woman's intuition is just better than anything, all right? So later on in this trip, we'll use the two, uh, we'll use the red queens, why not, all right? So uh, two red queens, two ladies, all right? So uh, we have two people here and one person just can cut to some cards or cut to a card from the middle of the deck. We'll use the jack of clubs, there, all right? So next person can cut to a card. The King of Diamonds, all right? So we got the, the Jack of Clubs and the King of Diamonds, our card, all right? So we can uh, really lose the cards in the deck. There's no breaks, no crimps, nothing like that. And uh, having no prejudice like that makes it really difficult. So like I said, I'll use the help of two women, uh, the two red queens, all right? So let me find the first one here. Da, 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 da. There's, there's the first one there. And uh, let's see the Queen of Hearts. There it is, right there. All right, so two queens will help us out. All right, so the first queen, uh, we'll just uh, we we'll use the queen. We'll just spell it. All right, so the queen of diamonds, and we'll see what card we land on. All right, so the queen of diamonds. Here we go. That's T H E Q U E E N of O F diamonds D I A M O N D S. All right, so here we go. The queen of hearts. Same thing. That's T H E Q U E E N of O F hearts H E A R T S. How crazy would it be? I mean, imagine a scenario where I just took out two random queens from the deck that was shuffled. <laughs> we landed on two cards that were just cut to and buried back into the deck. I mean, imagine if they were the cards that uh, we looked at earlier. What was it? The, uh, the King of Diamonds and the Jack of Clubs. How crazy is that? <laughs> 
You'll have to excuse uh, my poor uh, patter and presentation for that performance, but wow, what a crazy principle, right? So, it, like I said, it uses that undue influence, uh, like in prior commitment, and if you've ever seen that trick, you'll definitely have noticed the similarities between the two, right? So here is how you set this trick up, because there is a little bit of setup, but man, is it worth it. So all you need to do is place one of the queens uh, 17th from the top, and the other queen 36 from the top, all right? So we'll do that now. All right, so once you have your two queens in place, you are ready to boogie. So like I said, you will need two people to help you out for this trick. And um, before we start, you wanna say stuff like, you know, you know, finding one card is hard enough as it is, but finding two cards is nearly impossible. So you'll need the help of, you know, some women's intuition, like maybe the two red queens. And that's sort of like a callback for later when you run through the deck face up to find the two red queens, all right? So it gives you sort of an excuse and they, they are prepared for it. So the selection process is very important for this principle to work properly, all right? So what needs to happen is you ask the first person to cut off about half the deck, all right? So they do that, and they look at the card they uh, they cut to, in this case, the Ace of Hearts, all right? So now you turn to the other person, you have them cut about half of these, all right? So they cut about half of those, and they both remember their cards. In this case, we have the Ace of Hearts and the King of Clubs. Now what needs to happen is you need to direct the first person uh, that cut off some cards to put their cards back first, all right? Sort of like reverse how, how they pick the card. They're putting them back backwards, all right? So the first person replaces their cut first, followed by the second person going on top. And I've performed, uh, this is the same thing in Prior Commitment, and I've performed that trick a lot, and nobody ever questions that. I mean, this. I mean, it's, it seems natural anyway, and it seems very, it seems so fair. I mean, it is so fair that nobody questions it, all right? So now what needs to happen and you're going to do the face up influence, all right? So, what we're going to do now is say, you know, two cards, blah, 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 were buried in the deck. I couldn't possibly know where those two cards are, and you're leading into turning the, the deck face up to find those two queens. Now, what's going to happen? You start spreading through, and you're going to spot your first queen. Once you do, you break the spread at that point, so the queen is the face card of your deck hand. So, you just thumb that off onto the table. Now, you keep spreading through, but this time you're going to spread on top of this packet here, all right? So, sort of like you're doing this, so the cards go under as you keep spreading like this. As you look for the second queen, you uh, just drop it on the table like this, and then you put the rest of them on the back of the deck, so on top of the deck now like that, and that is the face up undo influence. I won't repeat that. Uh, if you need to see it again, just rewind the video. Now, believe it or not, the way this principle works mathematically is that both cards now that were selected are positioned for the spelling of the two cards, the Queen of Diamonds, you'll always arrive at the, the card, Queen of Hearts, you'll always arrive at the other card. It's quite crazy, all right? So we'll do it right now. That's the Queen of Diamonds. By the way, you always have to spell the Queen of Diamonds, always including the the, the, the of, and the S at the end, all right? So the whole card, all right? So it's T-H-E for the Queen, Q-U-E-E-N, of, O-F, Diamonds, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. And what was that card? The Ace of Hearts. So same thing with the Queen of Hearts. That's Q, or so I'm sorry, the, T-H-E, Q U E E N O F Hearts H E A R T S and honestly, guys, I, I my brain hurts trying to figure out how this thing works, and that's that's not what matters. <laughs> what matters? It's it's an amazing trick, and I'm so freaking glad that we arrived at such a wonderful trick again. And I hope we uh, keep uh, striking gold with this series. And thank you for watching. All right, guys, so as always, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me, and if you learn something new, if you like this series as much as I do, please give me a thumbs up and sub to the channel because it means the world to me and helps me out more than you might think. And until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.